Their armor looks like the armor from Spy Kids. Oh, is that is that why they compare the new Ant-Man trailer to Spy Kids? Because, I mean, I, I do see that. That does look Spy Kids-esque. Yeah, James Gunn's now like a top dog at DC, I heard. That's kind of wild. I mean, he's the only one making good DC shit right now. Uh, although Black Adam was definitely better than I expected. Didn't he get cancelled and fired by Disney when he was working on Guardians 3? He did! And then got uncancelled, but then went to DC instead. And now Marvel's circling the drain and DC's actually getting some hits. Oh yeah, here, I'll check out the Ant-Man trailer now. I, I've said this before, I'll say it again. Ant-Man and the Wasp, I think, is one of the MCU's worst movies. I like Ant-Man. I just think that movie was bad. So I don't have huge expectations here. And people are calling it Spy Kids. And I guess it's because the outfits look like the armor from Spy Kids. So my ex expectations are kind of low. I used to ask myself a lot of questions. Scott, you're at X-Con. How are you an Avenger? That doesn't make sense. But everywhere I go, people tell me the same thing. Thank you, Spider-Man. People still need help, Dad. That's why we made this. It's like a Oh, the quantum realm. Split. Yes. Wait, wait a minute. You're sending a signal down to the quantum realm. Everything quantum. Turn it off. Now. Is a bit sleazy in the prime Joshi. Have a good night, Skunky. Where are we? Where are you gonna come down? Where am I going to land? I should have stayed on the phone. I should have listened to my own mind. It's the secret universe beneath ours. What are you so afraid of? There's something I never told you. This place. I mean, seems just pretty standard shit. It is not Doesn't look think. alarmingly awful, doesn't look amazing. I just have no real thoughts on it, man. Just more Marvel. I can get you home. And give you more time. If you help me. So, what's it gonna be? Hey, he was introduced in Loki. Ant-Man. Looks like Artemis Fowl. I did see people critiquing the visuals. I believe the tweet that went viral is, I can only see two actors standing in front of a green screen here. And I get it. I mean, it is what it is, man. It's, it's just pretty much all CGI in most Marvel movies, and the fact that they're pumping them out so quickly means that the VFX artists don't really have time to clean everything up and make it look super polished. So yeah, I agree, sometimes it looks kind of jolting. Kang going to be the next Thanos in the MCU. Yep. He's their next major big bad. But the thing that makes me not care is the fact that there's like eight shows, nine movies, all of which just keep introducing more and more characters that I just don't give a fuck about. And it's hard to keep up with them because the shows are so goddamn boring now. Yeah, the next show actually looks good somehow. Are you talking about the Nick Fury show? Because that does look good. That actually looked like it was finally taking itself seriously again. Yep, I know James Gunn's going to be the new uh, DCU head. Have you seen the Guardians Christmas special? No. Is this going to make me laugh? Is it a comedy? That would be pretty cool.
I just saw on the calendar that right now on Earth, it's almost Christmas time. We don't have time for trivialities like Christmas. But Peter's so sad about Gamora being gone. Maybe if we go to Earth, Huge. a really wonderful Christmas gift, it would make him happy. Something special he will never forget. What about someone special? We are looking for the legendary Kevin Bacon. We're looking for the legendary Kevin Bacon. I just said that, Drax. With your voice is small and mousy, I think maybe he didn't hear you. Ah! You're coming with us as a Christmas present. Man, I do love Marvel comedies. So uh, you bet your ass I probably won't watch it. Huge. That's just not for me, man. If I was a kid, I'd probably like it. Again, the main demographic is kids. I think we have to accept that now. Marvel targets very younger audiences. So uh, it's, I don't know, it's just not for me. I don't think it looks bad. It's just not something I'd like. She-Hulk is for kids? I don't know. I dropped She-Hulk after three episodes. I, God only knows. Uh, I have no clue. A good children's show that tar a good children's show targets adult watchers too. SpongeBob, for example. Well, yeah, old SpongeBob. It was a kids show, but anyone of all ages could enjoy it. And Marvel's a lot like that. It's just not for me. I I I am very tired of the Marvel formula. I'll still watch them for the sake of, you know, reviewing them and hopefully being entertained. But I'm not, like, actively looking forward to them. The only one that I'm somewhat optimistic for is Deadpool 3. But I guess we'll see how that goes. I was optimistic for Thor Love and Thunder and look what happened with that. What a disaster. There's a new Star Wars show coming out tomorrow? Oh my god. I had no idea. Uh, no thoughts, because I don't know what the fuck comes out tomorrow. Do you think Disney Plus is what killed Marvel? Marvel's not dead. And no, Disney Plus didn't contribute to its downfall either. It's just the formula. Their reliance on pumping out identical movies to fit in the same exact general story beats and expected Marvel experience just makes it just tired and drawn out. <laughs> 